I'm sort of wondering where to go with this acrylic. I've just scrubbed a lot of it off uh, just so that I can carry on painting over it. Uh, there's my palette. Colours. You can use what colours you like. Uh, I'm painting it on, on what was a watercolour that I didn't really like. It's okay as a demonstration but it, it didn't really work as a as a, an eventual seller so I, I I work over those so don't throw any of your failed watercolours away when you get onto acrylic painting or oil painting you can prime them and use use the old failures as new support watercolour paper is a great surface I use these inch varnish brushes pro art varnish brushes great believer in uh, in using the largest brush you can get away with. So let's go over this with a bit of, bit of colour. Obliterate what's underneath and we'll work out something. So there's a bit of a yellow ochre most, uh, and um, a bit of crimson. Most of my colours are student cheap cheap stuff that I get from Wilkinson's I believe Tesco's are now doing a range of large pots of cheap acrylic so look out for them if you're a beginner to acrylic I, I would highly recommend you don't go and buy from say Lidl's um, boxes of cheap acrylics in tubes, nice tubes. You won't use most of them. You just buy the ones you need, buy the colours as you go, and learn to to use the mixes that you can get. Say mixing uh, blues and reds and whites, you get a whole range of warm to cool greys yellows with the greens. I do use a couple of greens with, with acrylic of sap green and viridian. Don't use a lot of it but it, it's, a, it's a shortcut and, and because acrylic has this wonderful ability to, to dry very quickly you can crack on with it. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet but I'm just making up a bit of a bit of a sky Maybe a sort of a bit of a river, river scene. Just let's go over that. Just work away at it until until something happens. Woolly thinking leads to woolly painting, and this is at the moment is a woolly painting. Are we worried? Just enjoy, just enjoy the art of painting or the the process of painting. It's, it's a great, great thing to do. Of course it's creative, even more creative if you get something for your labour. Right, do a little bit of a beach scene or what there? Just using little bits of, of, of red in this. Here's a bit of, bit of yellow, a bit of orange. But I don't know, I quite like that sky. Keep your brushes very clean because if you let your paint dry on your brushes, goodbye brush. Right, I like, I like the lights going across there. So I'm going to carry that, that on. So it's a bit of ochre, a bit of white, a bit of cad red. We can be yellow, 
bit of white and we can sense centre a piece of sunlight in the mist. It's very misty outside at the moment, if not foggy. Get some of that down there. can put something on the on the horizon to that. Don't know what. Uh, could have some distant trees, could be this distant headland. So let's mix a bit of blue, a bit of ultramarine blue, a bit of cad red. This is a, a Masterson Stay Wet palette I'm using. I always use it. You can use any surface. You can use greaseproof paper or oven paper. <coughs> if you want to keep it moist in, a, in an old chocolate box you can put it on, on some, some wetted kitchen paper and then you can put the lid back on and it will stay nice and moist and reusable and it's cost you nothing. It's uh, a bit darker. I like black. But I'm not going to use it in this one, I don't think. It's a great colour. Okay, that's a nice. Let's get that a little bit darker. A bit of, bit of crimson and red. I mean, and, and the blue. So this could be Essex coast, Kent coast. Okay, now we'll put in some light across that horizon. So essentially this is going to be a painting just about light. Painting doesn't have to be of anything really, it can be sort of ab semi abstract like this. It's just fun to do, you can mist it out a little bit. I'm a great believer in keep it simple, stupid kiss. Just seen a wonderful film uh, starring Helen Mirren, a woman in red, red, woman in gold. Oh, superb film if you haven't seen it. About, about the uh, the theft of uh, the Nazi theft of of the woman in gold by Klimt. Fabulous painting, and about the family who owned it and the, the aunt who was the model, and uh, Helen Mirren played the niece. And eventually he ended up back in their hands of the family, uh, grudgingly, but a fabulous pic uh, film about a great, great painting, beautifully, beautifully acted, powerful stuff. Right, let's just get some bit of a bit of 
bit of orange in there. Now th this could be Eastbourne looking looking across Pevensey Bay where the Normans landed in 1066. Where we shall be going in a couple of weeks. And I've done several paintings of it, but very indistinct like this. A bit too... If I can get that light over that headland there. Don't like that bit there, so I'm going to just alter that horizon a little bit. And a bit of a shingly beach shining here. Right, now I need to do a bit of greying over that, I think. Or at least I will just kill some of that, that orange. Let's put a mountain on that and see what we've done. Okay, so so we've got a very simple landscape, something out of nothing, um, Turner-esque, very very gentle sky, light, carried on through Norman's Bay, over, I, I could put some some white buildings in here but I won't, um, around the corner we've got Beachy Head, where, where, which is a very popular site for people jumping off. <coughs> but a uh, very lovely, lovely uh, headland. Seven Sisters, White Cliffs of Dover, going around to White Cliffs of Dover. Oh, there we are, quite pleased with that. Oh, there we are. Painting out of nothing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye.